welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and a reviewing Microsoft. Microsoft gapped up yesterday on earnings and I call calls. Beautiful trade, it didn't go yesterday. Sometimes you gotta wait 24 to 48 hours. But you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. It still went. I did say in the room, I like this gap. I really like this gap. It's a good gap. I really like it. And here it goes. So today was the day for this. Sometimes they need to wiggle and jiggle a little bit. So Again, beautiful options, and I got, again, I called calls. So I'm buying calls and selling them. I'm buying puts and selling them. I'm not doing spreads. So if you want to sign up for my Gap Options newsletter, you'll get the newsletters to your inbox in live time to do the trades. If you want to do spreads or something different, that's on you. But I do have targets in the email, and this definitely went to a few targets here. And again, it's 119. It could continue up. We have a, some time here before four o'clock but even this is a good exit um or you could have got out of it earlier today so let's just take a look at it again it's so rare that i would want to hold along but it was worth doing today so this opened yesterday on the gap up on the earnings at 296.70 and then boom open today at 295.97 and ran up so went through 300 went up to 303.75 almost got to 304 almost got to 305 tried Again, you could be out of this. It was a really, really nice call. In fact, what time did I send this? Let me just look up the time I sent this on yesterday morning. It was early, 8.52 a.m. 8.52 a.m. I sent the 300 calls on Microsoft that don't expire till next week. So ironically, you could have done them expiring tomorrow, actually. So, you know, you could have paid less for this and got in and out of this today. You could have, you could still be in it. Like I said, it looks great. It looks fabulous. The only problem with holding this is Amazon's tonight. If Amazon fails, this won't go anywhere tomorrow. And tomorrow, of course, is Friday. So we're going into a very volatile week next week with the FOMC um, meeting. And we're also going into other earnings as well, which can affect beautiful moves like this. So you could have gone long with today as a day trade too. We didn't, but I saw it. If we didn't have anything else to do, we might have done it, but we shorted today instead. So you've got to look out for the good ones when you get them. And, and again, I prefer to short, but this was something I went long. And if I go long, you know I really, really love it. So Microsoft was a good long. Microsoft was a good option. If you're interested in learning how to trade gaps with me, the class for April is this weekend, April 29th and 30th. Email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.